what it is. Book, book, book. Right. Legend. The right. fucking play of life. Happy all 2024. Hold up. Before we take a look at the rest of the moment, yesterday was crazy and a lovely moment where we spotted um Rema with Olamide, Davido, Victor Ni, Zelatan, and others at same event. Man, this is crazy. This got a lot of people talking. They say that this kind of unity we will want for Afrobeat, this kind of unity. Imagine um Olamide, Rema, Davido, um Zilatan, Saz, and plenty others was that same event. Man, it's crazy. They were live yesterday. They watched the match of Real Madrid versus Baka. It was a lovely moment yesterday. Before we take a look at the moments, Very Dark Man have said something about the Tunubu addressing Nigeria. We guys remember 7 a.m. this morning, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the president of Nigeria, actually addressed Nigerians on the ongoing protest. And this is what Very Dark Man have to say about that. You guys should hear this. The truth is, after Tinubu addressed the nation, I just shook my head and I asked myself one question. Is there really hope for Nigeria? You know, because Tinubu addressed the nation, but failed woefully in addressing the issues that are directly affecting the people. And it's really heartbreaking and depressing. Because the question is, do we even really have hope? You understand? You fail to address the things that are directly affecting us, which is the cost of living, the standard of living. And how the economy is crashing. Dollar to Nera, the full stuff price. How the people in the rural areas are suffering. Do you understand? It's crazy. He just went up addressing protests, political agenda, how people are doing this. And that's not our business. Talking about this protest, why did the people go on the streets? The people went on the street because truly, 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 the people are starving and the people are hungry. The people are starving and the people are hungry. They cannot do anything, according to the to, to the video I watched, you cannot do anything about fuel price. Need I remind you, people are complaining more about fuel price because your government came and gave a standard price for fuel in Nigeria that will be sold across the 36 states. You shared the list. Some states, they will, they will buy fuel for 500. Some will buy for 550. Everybody, we murmured and we were okay with the list. But as you speak now, they've gone above that list. Fuel is being sold at 800, 700. That was never in the plan. You want us to be patient, but your government officials are flexing. If you want us to be patient, let it touch you people to reduce the cost of living for, for, for your government officials as well. You are telling us to be patient, but they are living extravagantly. Do you understand? If you want us to know that your government is serious and we should be patient, they also need to be patient. If one person is using 15 convoy, maybe a senator, you can reduce it to like two convoy or three max. Even you, the president, if your convoy is 30, you have to reduce it to like 18 or 15. That is when we know that, okay, they touch everybody. But this one, when they chop life, when they rob, when they rob the corruption on our faces, and you're telling us to be patient. Basic things we don't have. Some areas in, in Nigeria, they don't even have water. They still drink from the stream in 2024. In 2024, see the price of school fees in the universities. They skyrocketed up. They skyrocketed up. You are not addressing the core issues that need to be addressed. Talking about protests, how they are doing agenda and all that. That's not our business. You should do politics all you want. You should do everything. But look at the people. Listen to the cry of the people which you are not doing you totally failed in addressing the nation you address your own beef where you get address us i will expect you to address us directly now they are saying we should come and dialogue now who knows who wants to go and dialogue that one if you go there and I go call your own because that's another problem we are facing in nigeria the people that are supposed to be the representative are collecting for themselves and enriching themselves generally self the nigeria said we serve too we will be bad people when you reach time to hold somebody accountable, you go see problem. How many times I don't call out one or two people where they affect other people? Hold them accountable. No, they would rather call you names. And you want to hold government accountable? Within us, we are not even good. Within us, we are not good. We have not even gotten to the point to start holding government accountable because most of you are like them. The only thing I will beg the government for and I'll beg the president is that include us in government. Include us, the youths that want to do things in government. Give us local governments to hold. 
Give the youth local government to hold. And you people as elderly people should be on the top as governors and all. Give us local government to hold. You are in charge of your local government. Make sure your local government come out of poverty. Make sure you do roads for your local government. Appoint us, the youth, to be there. Let us be in charge of a particular thing. Not you from ground to up, old man. You are rubbing corruption on our faces. Buying yards, giving governors cars, giving this one cars upon the cars that they have privately. Now spend millions of naira on I used to, to how many billion take they go do vice president house all those kind of things. The people are suffering. Address the suffering that we are suffering. You are addressing personal beef. It's really really just sad. I shook my head and asked myself, is there even really hope? Is, you, is there really hope? I was watching it and I almost teared up. Oh, guys, is there really hope? You guys heard from very dark man. The guy said a lot of things. He said he was not pleased with the president's speech this morning. You all heard the speech from the president. Very dark man said he was only he was mainly focused on the protest. Um, that the people protesting should come, let them dialogue. Like he's not he's not like focused on what people are protesting for. The uh, people said, okay, fine, we're expecting you to come. Okay, fine. See how we're gonna solve this see how we're going to solve the hunger in the country but he was mainly focused on people protesting things happening in the protest people say this is not what we want mr president what we want is a system working in nigeria fix what the people are asking for fix what people are protesting for you heard from very dark man what do you guys have to say about that if you have heard the president Tinobu speech what do you guys have to say about that let me know via the comment section and also share your thought on the video link up with latan saz or lami de rema all of them were live at same event yesterday what are your thoughts on that let me know via the comment section and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i remain your favorite big vicky i'm out